I must wait our keeper of the asylum here. Welcome to Camp Humphreys, Beauty and the Beast. Please take this moment to silence your cell phones, or else you'll get to be one of my guests. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Once upon a time in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was poor, selfish, and unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose for shelter. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle, where the magic mirror was his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Thank you. Thank you very much. Here she comes, our 
figure out why that happened. If this isn't the stubbornest piece of... Ah! Uh, I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this contraption to work. Yes, you will. 
and you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Hmm. And become a world famous inventor. You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, then we better get cracking. This thing's not going to fix itself. Now, where did I put that dog-legged clincher? Papa! So, tell me, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me off to wonderful places where there's magic and mystery, romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd? Now where would you get an idea like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just that people talk. They talk about me too. No, I'm not I nor you. No family ever saner, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say or do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept our simply They are the common herd. And you can take my word. You are unique. Crem de la crem. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misbehind. There's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I like the funny way you stand out from the crowd. It's my intention, my invention shows the world out there one just what we've got, no matter what. Now some might say all fathers just exaggerate. That every daughter's great. You are. And every daughter likes to say her father's tops. She pulls out all the stops to praise him, and quite rightly. No matter what the pain, we've come this far. I hope that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best
First prize is nearly mine. It's quite my best invention. So simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is providing I can find the fair at all. I must have missed the sign. I should have paid attention. That's not a nightingale. That's not a mating call. But this time, it will not work. Me? What about you? It's Simone. <laughs> Jacques. Michel. Pierre. Veronique. <laughs> no, Veronique. <laughs> Michel! We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what will happen if the master finds out we let up that, that stranger here? Oh, come now, because what's the master will never have to know. <laughs> of course, then again, uh, he was bound to find out soon, Olivia. Oh, yeah? Now, now, so there's absolutely no reason to panic. Yes, the mere is right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. You may have more of it. There's a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. Who let him in? Master, may I take this opportunity to say, I was against this from the start. Who dare disobey me? Oh, dear. You have all betrayed me. Who? Are you? Maurice, what are you doing in my 
my castle. I, I lost my way. You are not welcome here. I'm sorry, I'll just be... Oh, Medius, isn't it? Oh, no, no, I, I wasn't. Don't just uh, stare at the beast, haven't you? No, I would never. I just needed a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. <laughs> It's so. <laughs> girls, girls! I'm only getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that is going to change your feelings for me. Oh no, no, <laughs> never. Good. And we'll still have our little Brenda's boozes, won't we? Oh yes, yes, always. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have a wedding. I'd better propose to the bride. <laughs> Run along now. Bell, oh bell. Anybody at home? Oh, hello. Yes, son. What a pleasant surprise. Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises for you, Mademoiselle. Ah, a miniature portrait of you. You should have. Don't mention it. You know, Bell. Doesn't a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes? Today's the day your dreams come true. And what could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Hoping, scheming, just one theme. Will you be who I? Will you be some bee man's property? That he has This equation, girl plus man, doesn't help just you. On occasion, women can have their uses too. Mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend with me. Sons galore. Inconceivable. Each built six foot four. Unbelievable. Each one stuffed with every guest on G. I'm not hearing You'll this. You'll be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So unwettable. That you are part of this side to see. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill roasting on the fire. My little wife massaging my feet as the little ones play on the floor with the dogs will have six or seven dogs? <laughs> no bell. Strapping boys like me. Oh, imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love and prize. We will be the perfect pair, rather like my thighs. You. Face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life, or all's well that is with me. Escape me, there's no way. Certain as do re that when you marry. So, Belle, what'll it be? It. Yes, so. Oh, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me! But thanks for asking. How'd it go? Oh, you know that bell. Was playing hard to get. She turned you down? For now. But I'll have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Well, gee, if she turned him down, maybe I still have a chance. Uh, get out of my way! No! Ah, go! He's mine! Ah, yes, mine! Is he gone? Oh, can you imagine? 
imagine? He asked me to marry him. The wife of that great boy. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. No, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial life. Exactly where you found this. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> Think. In the woods. Harder. Ow, near the crossroads. He's got to be out there somewhere. LeFou, you have to take me back to the forest. No, 